Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Rockin' Solo for the next couple episodes. Dylan's on vacation in Idaho. First off, we'll recap the Monday through Thursday games. We'll start in the American League. Seattle took three of four from Houston. Baltimore took two of three from Boston. Minnesota took three of four from the Kansas City Royals. The Jays swept the Chicago White Sox. The Tampa Bay rallied to take two of three from Oakland. And the Yankees took two of three from the Los Angeles Angels in Anaheim. Shifting over to the National League, the Milwaukee Brewers took three of four from the Chicago Cubs. Washington surprisingly took three of four from Atlanta. Not many people would have had that prediction. St. Louis took two of three from Cincinnati. San Francisco took two of three from Philadelphia. San Diego took care of business, taking two of three from Miami. And the Los Angeles Dodgers swept the lowly Mets. Um, yeah, just a disaster right now in New York. Only three games in the interleague this week. Colorado took two of three from Cleveland. Texas swept Arizona in a World Series rematch. And Pittsburgh and Detroit split a two-game series. So just to recap, me and Dylan actually both went 8-6-1. and one. So Dylan's record is now was 133-119. My record is 141-93-18. Let's take a look at the weekend slate. Four games in the American League this weekend. Detroit is in Boston. That's a four-game series. Detroit did take the first game of the series 5 to nothing today. But of course, we made these predictions before uh, this all went down. It was Jack Flaherty versus Nick Pavetta today. Tomorrow it's going to be Kenta Maeda versus Tanner Houck. Olsen versus Criswell in Game 3. And Casey Mize and Bayo in Game 4. I'm going to go with Detroit on this one. I, I feel like the pitching favors Boston here. But I'm going to rock with Detroit's offense in this one. Up next, we got Minnesota going into Houston for a three-game series. It's going to be Lopez versus Blanco in Game 1. Ryan versus Valdez in Game 2. And Simeon Woods Richardson versus Hunter Brown in Game 3. Houston has struggled. And everybody knows they, they got to get going here. I'm going to go with Houston here. They burn me a lot this season picking them. But they need to get going. It's now or never for them. They're, they're just coming off a 3 of 4 series loss to Seattle. One of their division rivals. Uh, this is going to be another good test for them. But I'm going to go with the Astros here. Up next we got Seattle versus the Los Angeles Angels in the Pacific Northwest. It's going to be Soriano versus Wu in Game 1. Detmers versus Miller in Game 2. And Canning versus Luis Castillo to round out that third game. Seattle is better across the board here. Pitching, hitting, uh, defense. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if this was a sweep. I'm going to go with Seattle. Tampa Bay is going to Camden to take on the Baltimore Orioles. In game one, it's going to be Savali versus Suarez. Bradley versus Bradish. And Littell versus Irvin in game three. Baltimore's coming off of two of three in Fenway and have had Tampa Bay's number in the past. Um, Baltimore leading their division. Tampa Bay, not really the pesky Rays team we've been accustomed to in the past. I'm going to go with Baltimore in this one. Shifting over to the National League, four series is there as well. We're going to start with the Mets hosting. Next, Cincinnati is in Chicago taking on the Cubs. It's going to be Ashcraft versus Assad, Green versus Steele, and Lodolo versus Ben Brown. Really good pitching matchups in this one, but the Cubbies are reeling right now. Um, they just lost 3 of 4 to the Brewers, like I mentioned off the top. They've lost 8 of their last 10 games. Yeah, I, I just think Cincinnati's pitching is, is going to take them over the top here in this one. Cubbies' bats are, are asleep right now, but still been a pretty consistent team other than this little blip and this little stretch. Um, up next, Philadelphia hosts St. Louis. Philadelphia coming off a series loss to the Giants. They're going to be recharged, I believe. They they're, they're, they still got the best record in the National League. So, I mean, it's to be expected that they have a little bit of a stumble here or a little bit of a block in the road or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go the Phillies here. It's going to be Mikolas versus Nolan Game 1, Gray versus Suarez in Game 2, and Lance Lynn versus Taiwan Walker in Game 3. Gray and Suarez, that is uh, the game that I circled on my uh, sheet here. That's going to be a really good pitching matchup. So runs are going to be hard to come by in this one, I feel. And uh, I think Philly does get it done. Rounding out the National League, we got the Colorado Rockies in L.A. taking on the Dodgers. It's going to be Hudson versus Bueller in Game 1, Quantrill versus Yamamoto in Game 2, and Gomber versus Gavin Stone in Game 3. Colorado has been better as of late. They just took 2-3 of three at home against uh, Cleveland. Uh, but this uh, this Dodgers team is, is uh, it's a beast. I wouldn't be surprised if this one was a sweep. I'm going to go with the Dodgers. Shifting over to the interleague, a jam-packed uh, schedule 
in the interleague this week. Seven matchups. We'll start with the San Francisco Giants taking on the New York Yankees. It's going to be Stroman versus Hicks, Schmidt versus Webb, and Cortez versus Blake Snell. Blake Snell's first start against the Yankees after he turned down that six-year contract in the offseason. Uh, Giants finally back over 500. They've won seven of their last ten. Uh, they're hot right now. I'm going to go with the Giants here. I think uh, they're getting some timely hitting. They're getting good pitching. Bullpen's been good. Uh, Camilo's been really good at the back end of that bullpen. Yeah, they're coming off of uh, two of three from the Phillies, and uh, I'm going to take them to beat the Yankees. Up next, we got the San Diego Padres going to Kansas City. We got Cease versus Waka, Musgrove versus Marsh, and King versus To Be Determined. Uh, th this is going to be a good test for this young KC team, right? I mean... We did a video about contenders or pretenders with them. Go check that one out. I think this is the playoff team. It's going to be a good test. I mean, San Diego's still got a lot of veterans, right? I mean, Kansas City is more of a younger team. Mix, mix in a little bit of veterans there. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go KC here. But this this is going to be a really good series, I feel. Chicago White Sox are in Milwaukee. Uh, it's going to be Fetty versus Myers in Game 1. Crochet versus Gasser in Game 2. And Nestrini versus Peralta in Game 3. We just did a contender or pretender with the Milwaukee Brewers. Go check that video out. Milwaukee's a really good team. They got a very potent offense. Their pitching has let them down. They lack that second starter behind Peralta. Obviously, the, the trade with Corbin Burns, that definitely doesn't help in the starting pitching department, but this offense is good. If they can solidify that starting pitching, this could be a very scary team. I'm going to go Milwaukee here. Obviously, the White Sox have been a bit of a joke this year, so yeah, I'm going to go Milwaukee. Up next, it's going to be Oakland in Atlanta. Atlanta's coming off a very surprising series loss to Washington, losing three of four there. Look for them to bounce back. Oakland's coming off of a, a blowing series to the Rays, so they'll probably have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder, but Atlanta's better every facet of, uh, of the matchup here, so I'm going to go Atlanta. Up next is Pittsburgh in Toronto. It's going to be Falter versus Berrios, Keller versus Kikuchi, and To Be Determined versus To Be Determined in Game 3. Jays are coming off a sweep of the White Sox. They did lose Manoa in that game, uh, their third game. He only pitched an inning and a third, which is unfortunate because he has really picked up his game the last three starts. He's looked like his old self. The slider was sharp. Um, good velo on the fastball. Jays are four and a half out of the wild card. Um, still a very uphill battle for them. Um, but climbing back to 500, just like the Giants just did. Uh, they're 26 and 29. It's now or never for this team. Um, very high payroll. Underwhelming to start this season. And uh, we'll see. They do miss Jones and they do miss Skeens in this series. So that is a big plus for the Blue Jays. Up next is Washington at Cleveland. It's going to be Corbin versus Bybee, Parker versus Lively, and Irvin versus To Be Determined in the third game. Uh, just lost two or three in Coors. <laughs> Anything can happen in Coors uh, with elevation, and it's it, it was a slugfest. I, Cleveland won one game 10-7 to seven, uh, in that second game. It was a crazy game. I'm going to go Cleveland here. Washington has been better than I expected this year, but I'm going to go with the Cleveland Guardians in this one. And rounding out uh, this weekend's slate is Texas at Miami. Corey Seager is on a tear. 12-game hitting streak. Uh, just been killing the baseball. Hitting a lot of home runs. They're, they're coming off a two-game sweep. A World Series rematch in, in uh, Texas, pardon me, against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Yeah, honestly, would not be surprised if this was a sweep. That's going to do it for this one. In review, I got Detroit. Houston, Seattle, Baltimore, Arizona, Cincinnati, Philadelphia, the Dodgers, the Giants, Royals, Milwaukee, Atlanta, Toronto, Cleveland, and Texas. And Dylan has Seattle, Baltimore, Detroit, Minnesota, Dodgers, Chicago Cubs, Philadelphia, Arizona, New York, Kansas City, Milwaukee, Atlanta, Cleveland, Texas, and Toronto. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Almost at 700 subscribers. We appreciate your support, and we'll see you on the next one.